The original Death Star in Star Wars took 20 years to build, so how did Palpatine be able to build a second one in merely 4 years? Andor showed how slow and difficult it was to build and hide parts for the original Death Star, as it required human labour in prison camps. However, the TV show also placed plenty of detail into the political side of maintaining the galaxy. Palpatine's issue wasn't resources, it was hiding it from the Senate. By the time the second Death Star was to be built, many planets were under full Imperial control by moths instead of Senate leaders. This allowed Palpatine to openly construct the second weapon on Endor, instead of more secluded planets like Scarif and Geonosis that are further away from manufacturer corporations. According to the Essential Guide to Warfare, the Rebel Alliance had also discovered an Imperial man-made hyperspace route to Endor, forcing Palpatine to ramp up production on the Super Laser and purposely leak incomplete information about the second Death Star to lure out the Rebels. And this makes sense, because if Andor and Rogue One's Death Star scenes are to be believed, the Super Laser was the last piece of construction, whilst the second had the Super Laser be one of the first. And that is why Palpatine was able to construct the second Death Star in under half the time. For more Star Wars shorts, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.